All right, so let's write an equation for the described line. I'm going to give you pieces of information about a line, and then you're going to tell me what the equation of that is. Now, we just got to kind of run through some of these because we've seen these before. At least we're supposed to have seen them. If I say that the slope is 5, and I give you the y-intercept of 0, negative 19, okay, one of the things that we know, one of the things that we remember, is the slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b. So basically what I've done here is I've given you the slope and the y-intercept. So what would be the equation of that line? y equals 5x, because your slope is 5, and then minus 19. Do you all agree? Uh-huh. So y equals 5x minus 19. That's too easy, right? Now, another way you could write this is that you could put this in standard form. Now, standard form means you have x and y on the same side, so it would look like this. You could have negative 5x plus y equals negative 19. Now, the, depending on what textbook you have, there are a lot of different rules about how they want you to write standard form. One of the big rules is that these numbers need to be integers. They don't like to have the decimals or the fractions. That's just kind of standard. And a lot of times they don't like to lead off with a negative, although sometimes they're not consistent about that. So, so that I don't lead off with a negative, I can divide everything by a negative 1. I get 5x minus y is equal to 19. So this is another way of expressing the answer. Okay. Now when I ask you to work this stuff out, you will tell me um, Either the answer either in slope intercept form or standard form. Those are your two options. Okay. Questions about that one? So the first one is the slope intercept form? Slope intercept form, and this is standard form. Okay. So there's a slope intercept form, and this is the standard form. If I see your slope is negative 42 over 11, and your y-intercept is 0, 8.92. Now remember, you already know your slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b. So use that guy, and you should be able to come up with your solution, with your answer very quickly. What is it? y equals negative 42 elevenths x plus 8.92. Putting this guy in standard form is not going to be pretty, so I'll just leave it like this. Don't do any more to this than you have to. Questions about that guy? No? All right, let's try this one. If I say that the slope is negative 4, and just a point that we go through is 5, negative 12. Did I give you the y-intercept? No. So can I just, can I go straight to the slope-intercept form? Well, not really, but there's some, you can use the slope intercept form here, though. Because what's the one thing that I didn't give you, that I gave you before? I didn't give you the y-intercept, right? So if you could just figure out what is your b, you'd be in good shape, right? But you know what I did give you? I gave you the slope, right? And I also gave you a particular x and y coordinate. 
the coordinates that we of a point that we go through, right? So I gave you everything, so you can plug that in and come up with your B. So what do you get? Here? So this is kind of like a little scratch work here on the side. So negative 12 equals your M, negative 4 times your X, 5, and then plus B. So solving this should not be a problem for us. Negative 12 equals negative 20 plus B. And please make sure that you take your time and you're careful when you get B by itself. How do you get B by itself? You add 20 to both sides and you come up with B is equal to 8. Now, you're going to see me do this a lot. You can kind of, kind of cloud this answer because it's not my answer. It's not my final answer. I take my B and I take my known slope. So what's the equation here? y equals negative 4x plus 8. What do you guys think? Is that good?